Good morning, Eagles. I'm Lily. Today is November 30th of 2023, also known as National Methamphetamine Awareness Day. So for today's show, we have a featured story with Matthew, a commercial with Timothy, and campus happenings with Chandler. At GJHS, we strive to be prompt, polite, and prepared. And our mission is that each student will graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or a career. So get ready, Eagles, because ENN starts now. Methamphetamine is a highly addictive stimulant that affects the central nervous system. Back in the early 2000s, Polk County was known as the meth capital of Florida. Now, let's go to a featured story with Matthew. This is Breaking Bad, a TV show where an ex-teacher and his former student make and sell drugs to provide for their families. What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? While the story and drugs in the scene are fake, methamphetamine is a real problem in Polk County. Methamphetamine is a powerful, highly addictive substance that affects the central nervous system. Like many other drugs, methamphetamine was developed in the early 20th century for medical purposes. Now, meth is known for being highly destructive and addictive as people take it for the purpose of getting high. And in Polk County, it's getting bad. Drug crimes have plagued Polk County and Central Florida for many years now. Traffickers and cartels make millions by selling meth methamphetamine to the people of Polk County. And with that, many people destroy their lives and go into despair and turn to crime because of the methamphetamine. Let's talk to someone who's seen this problem firsthand. So I'm Deputy Vasai with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. I've been in law enforcement for approximately four years now, and I work in Sefner. So, meth is a controlled substance, number two, hey, which means it's highly addictive. So, in the community, it affects literally everyone, the people who use it and the people who don't. Um, the people who use it, obviously, physically, they lose their teeth, it becomes thinner, and they end up in jail. Um, mentally, they lose a lot of uh, memory and uh, the ability to basically function. And then the people who don't use it are then victims of of crimes such as burglaries and thefts. A lot of the times we get calls for service, which in turn directs us to drug users and narcotics. But the strategy is just finding out where the source is and then conducting good surveillance and proactive patrol in the area. <coughs> While it may seem impossible as teenagers to do anything to prevent these types of issues, it's actually not. Addiction usually starts right outside of high school and before life even gets to start. So remember, drugs are not beneficial and stay informed about the dangers of methamphetamine. Drugs are not your friends, drugs are not safe, and drugs destroy lives. I'm Matthew from ENN, signing off. Thanks Matthew. According to Harvard Health, one of the ways to quit an addiction is by creating a support network. Joining GJ Reads, which meets every other Tuesday in room 3218, or GJ Art Club might just help. Although struggling with an addiction is hard, it's important to stay strong. Let's go to Timothy for our commercial. What am I doing with my life? Is this what my mom would want from me? Your girls soccer team has an away game tonight at Lakeland, so make sure to come out and support. Let's go to Chandler so he can tell us more about what's going on around campus. With Thanksgiving break just being last week, I'm sure you Eagles have had some fun. Now tune in for some campus happenings. Exercising is so important for the human body. This reminds me that GJ Mountain Biking Club meets every Friday morning in Mr. Davis's room. The GJ Reads Book Club meets every other Tuesday in Ms. Peterson's room. Eagles, remember to get back into your routines, even though winter break is only three weeks away. 
Well, that sums up this week's campus happenings. But for now, it's been Chandler for ENN. Thanks, Chandler. If you're struggling with addiction, make sure to reach out for some help. And remember, you're not alone through this struggle. I know you're all sad to hear it, but that will conclude today's show. I'm Lily, signing off of ENN. Thank you.